Here we are going to take a simple exercise and learn basic features in Autodesk Inventor. So this is our exercise. Now here this is the front view and this is top view. So we will start with this center part. This is a, a hollow pipe. You will see here diameter, outer diameter 80, 60 millimeter and if you check the length 94 plus 41 it's 135 millimeter we will create this one then we will add this flange 130 diameter and width 140 millimeter and the same flange in both side so we will create a plane also here so let's try this first now go to file here choose new now here you will see part templates i'll choose standard millimeter here see create now here first we have to choose a plane so if you're going to click to start 2d sketch it will ask you to select our plane so i'm going to choose this x z plane now this is sketch features are activated now here simply activate circle tool and if you move cursor at the origin you will see green color light it means it is coincide with this click and drag and this is going to be like 80 enter again click at center drag and 60 enter right click say ok or simply press escape key to out now i am going to say finish sketch now here say extrude now in first input geometry you have to choose your profile so see i'm if i move my cursor it will show you preview so select this origin uh, this point now sketch from already selected because this is going to start from xz plane now behavior direction you have to choose so which direction you like so i'll keep in positive direction and here distance 135 millimeter look you will see the dimension here now output it is the solid body taper and anything we don't need it this is simple first part so say okay now click on top here select this sketch create or even though you can choose here from that's it now again activate circle tool click at center drag 130 enter right click ok even we need this inside also so even though you can select this one and click geometry project so that it will be appear here now once it finish finish sketch now activate extrude now again the first thing input profile so let's move our cursor select direction it's moving positive direction distance 14 millimeter look how this is going to converted now here this is going to be a second solid body so here it will show you join so we have not cut if we are going to choose cut it will cut downside but we need to join so keep joint and rest as it is say okay now let's create a plane then we will mirror this so before going to create a plane we need to add some holes hole here there are eight number of holes 10 diameter 14 is the depth of hole and 105 is the pitch see pitch circle diameter in both sides so let's try this click this sketch activate circle and here activate also construction click now drag and this diameter 105 right click exit activate line tool we are going to define like position for circle click this point okay 
now finish see now activate hole now first input you have to select the position so just move cursor and you will see the position click now see the circle is created now hole type this simple hole we want so click hole see we, uh, we don't need anything like a counter sunk or spot face and counter bore simple hole the next behavior how long you need to do it so here we will choose distance distance even though you can edit from here direction it's going positive direction distance 14 mm that's it and because the width of this flange 14 and diameter is 10 mm and here see drill point flat say yes activate circular pattern now here choose we want to feature patterns uh, individual feature not full solid body so here choose individual pattern first feature so feature even though you can choose from here now select axis for axis i am going to choose this circular face now here placement we need four circle angle keep 360 degree so that equally going to be placed in all and here this is uh, going it is circle so we don't need to think much uh, change keep as it is okay look again activate offset from plane now select this one now here you have to act, put the dimension so 135 by 2 enter this is going reverse direction edit and simply here you can add minus okay now it's time to mirror so activate here mirror tool now first let's choose feature feature here like whole circular pattern and this extruded extrusion 2 now here the next one is mirror plane activate and choose this and you will see the preview say yes just rotate hold shift key and you can rotate with scroller mouse scroller just right click on the plane and here you will see the option visibility just uncheck this and it's now here the next thing we need to create this one first we have to create this 41 14 is 55 this distance from here 115 degree and 127 length of this pipe and the diameter is 60 millimeter okay 127 so which plane is suitable so here x y plane going to be here a sketch if you see view select here section view half section view and click x y say ok now you can act. go to sketch activate line tool and here choose geometry because this is the reference line start from here to here 127 press tab key 115 degree enter now again here activate dimension tool and this is going to be 55 enter finish sketch now now here click this one activate plane now this line already selected select at the center of this this end point now see it's selected select this one and this point and now if you rotate this one look it is just perpendicular to this line click create a sketch now here we need to create a circle 
just rotate it and start this point and this diameter 60 enter right click ok if you see like this finish sketch extrude now profile already selected now here direction you have to choose next next means is going to attach to this body view let's say end section view now again try reverse direction and here choose to next it is going to attach the body see here and the first part is boolean output boolean join profile already selected say yes even right click and hide uncheck visibility so that we can hide this ok now here the next thing we need to make this triangle you will see the dimension 110 this inside circular dimension there are three holes 10 diameter 15 width uh, depth is 15 millimeter corner radius 10 and there is a center distance from this circle to here 55 millimeter and uh, you will see here depth of this triangle 15 millimeter but this is 10 millimeter away from this face of this circle and 5 millimeter down. So, this is asymmetric. Okay. So, click this face, create a sketch. Now, let us create triangle. Right click. Okay. Now, activate here equal constraint. Now, select these two ok now select these two ok this is going to be constraint right click ok if you are going to fill it 10 millimeter select these three ends ok add some circle right click ok now activate equal constraint select these two select this one and this one equal right click ok now one more thing we need to activate let us activate line here choose activate construction and connect from here to this point escape key again select line and connect from here to make a line let us say 55 enter ok activate dimension tool now distance from here to here this is going to be like uh, 110 see this is the our main dimension ok one more dimension we forget to add this one 10 say ok that is fine now here let us create one center point it is difficult to find a center point so simply draw it connect from here to this point ok now move your cursor now here activate coincident constraint now click this center point which is the center of this circle and click this point and see right click ok now this is fully constrained drawing simply finish go to extrude first select profile input geometry so move your cursor near and select but this is I told you this is asymmetric so behavior direction choose asymmetric 10 millimeter in forward side see here 
फाइव मिलीमीटर डाउनवर्ड साइड सो टोटल फिफ्टीन कीप ज्वाइन वॉल्यून एंड टेपर देर इज नो एनी टेपर से यस now there is a hole now so see there is a bigger hole 60 diameter depth here you will see 10 mm then there is a hole throughout the inside face up to inside face and that is 50 diam first we will keep the small one then bigger one and uh, all r3 all radius are r3 click this face स्केच एक्टिवेट सर्किल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी आई थिंक सेंटर पॉइंट सो लेट्स मूव फिफ्टी एंटर राइट क्लिक ओके this one is by default created so just simply delete it and this is fully constrained if you move your things and you will see here finish sketch activate extrude feature and this time we are going to choose here output simply choose cut depth here we need to choose so i am going to choose here two just move your component and select inside now if you see now face the first one we don't need to cut throughout the round so just select extend face to end feature is on so this is going to cut up to this face okay now here right click and hide uncheck visibility right sketch again activate circle and this is going to be center point so 60 enter right click okay now just move the circle if you don't find any dimension or anything just activate here constraint concentric select this circle and this circle right click okay this is fully constrained finish is sketch extrude again boolean choose cut profile select this outer edge cut depth 10 mm direction is perfect size okay color default you can change it from here wallet that's it so this is the simple exercise Uh, okay let's activate here fillet now here first option you have to choose add constant edge set so here we selected this one in selection you have to constant radius size is 3 mm so say 3 mm now let me choose 1 2 with the help of shift rotate 3 say okay Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks and Inventor. Thanks for watching.